Well, hey guys, and welcome to another episode of DIY. Here's my dog. <laughs> Look at this. Mum has just left. Oh, man. Mum has just left. <laughs> and you just go crazy, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so just welcome to another episode of DIY on our Barney family channel, guys, and obviously our Facebook page as well. Bailey's seeing as this. <laughs> so, guys, we're cracking on. We've kind of finished the kitchen project. Got a couple of little things to do. <laughs> Bailey! Enough. Got a couple of things to do, but we're going to move on. We're going to start doing some of this laminate flooring. So we're basically moving from here through into the kitchen, uh, into the dining room area. So guys, I mean, laminate flooring is quite straightforward, but if you've never done it before, hopefully you've kind of see it and think, I could do that, you know. It's really enjoyable, very satisfying, and it should be pretty straightforward, you know. So what we're basically doing is moving from the kitchen through into our dining room, which we'll go into in just a minute. And then uh, we're gonna make a start on this laminate flooring. We've still got a few things to do, have we, Missy? Okay, in here, yes. But basically done, you know. And the weather's getting a little better in Scotland now as well. I'm still sort of recovering from surgery, uh, surgery recovery, PTSD, and stuff like that going on, you know. So I'm thinking a wee while just to get over, you know. But it's a lovely time of the year, guys, you know. So it's a fairly good job, with, you know. So we'll just keep cracking on. Right, so coming back through, guys, I've just moved everything around a little bit. This is a bit of a mock-up. This is what I'm kind of thinking of. And obviously, again, guys, when we'll look at the... This is to create space, believe it or not. But, guys, I'm really thinking about putting this uh, back in again, this this fireplace that we took out. It was too far along anyway, but I think if we move it across to there and have the mirror up above, that'll be great. And obviously, retile, you know, do something down there. So with the grey laminate, and it got a really nice rug just there. And we might actually just keep this here, the dining room table, and we can slide it out and in whenever we need it. That's the kind of thought here. But as per usual, guys, I'm still, you know, I'm always sort of in the mode of thinking. And of course, I can't okay anything until it's past the style council. What do you reckon, woman? Yeah. Think that'll be nice. Painted grey, mm -hmm. like the breakfast bar. Yep. And of course the back wall will be grey as well. And we'll get some really nice tiles in the back there. Grey laminate flooring, nice rug. Also, before we move, I think we shouldn't just paint, we should paint those, both of them. Oh, yeah. Because what, what we're moving this into is a bit of a mess. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to take it with us, are we? Yeah. <laughs> Emily's going to leave nothing in this house, it's going to be stripped. Yeah. <laughs> the, the walls are going to be painted. Also, yeah. that wall is ruined. I know, but this is the one of the next brilliant videos, Emily's, ah! Emily, <laughs> somebody's drawing the wall, Emily, you'll love this next one guys, Emily is the professional when it comes to the aquarium, where we get some lovely new fish for in there, aren't we, that'll be pretty awesome, now guys, I don't know if this is Amy or Ama, oh, I can't remember, eh, and you know me, because I feed you every night, don't I, eh, and she used to have her sister, didn't she, but, I eh, Something. Emma was more white. Oh, right. Amy was more black. Yeah. So we'll see a couple um, of the other ones, guys. Amy. We're going to make this tank back to being quite spectacular. It was always really nice, guys. There's some lovely new fish for in here. Um, that, and then we'll have to rise the water. Yeah, I have to get the water right up here. Eh? So here we go guys, back through to what we're doing, and uh, of course it's laminate flooring time. And of course the only awkward bit guys is actually just here and over there, and I'll show you that in a second. But that is the light grey laminate flooring that's going down in here. So if you can imagine guys, you know when this two come together, it'll be really really nice. And laminate flooring of course guys is really quite straightforward, and I've been told that you can lay laminate on top of laminate. This is probably a more even floor anyway. See if I took all this off, I'd have to try and even the floor again. So we're gonna leave it down. Obviously all the scarting boards need to come off because we're gonna go right up underneath so that the scarting board butt back down on top. And it obviously will get the fireplace boot back in there as well. But basically guys, I'll just I'll just film this at more technical bits and you know then I'll whack it across just to show you. But as you can see with this funny corner, guys, you know, this is this is how far I need it to go. But obviously we're gonna have to go in there and in there again. You know, so that's just a little bit of a, a head scratch for me, but that's okay. And basically all you have to do, guys, is that's it right in position. You'll see if you draw a line sort of thing, not with this, draw a line and obviously measure as well. That's what's gonna that's what's gonna come off it. 
Yeah, so as you can see guys, very straightforward. And it's just clipped together stuff, as you can see. So I've got like a male and a female, I suppose. Or tongue and groove, as you call it. Ugh. I try to do this with one hand, it's not easy though. And you'll see it just snaps together there. And that's what makes it together. That's going to look really good actually, Hannah. It's going to look a lot better than I thought actually. So there we go guys, that's just another piece on, just to show you. And obviously we stagger the joins that are going this way. But as you can see guys, it's almost like just about two boards. Like that. You know, right the way across. To there, to there. So what I'm going to have to do is obviously cut it. Get it in under and then go in that way. So there we go guys. Just to measure out this obviously that way. This is the part that needs to come out. Yeah, I've changed my tra trademark changer, mind you guys. I think what I'm going to try and do is you follow on the, the kitchen floor right into this part here, guys. And then we can butt down the skirting boards. But that's the, sort of more, the, the difficult job always is getting the first bit done. You know, once you get the first bit done, you just start cracking on. Right, so guys, we know it's two boards that go along that way. But obviously, we want to stagger the joins. And this is the crucial part. This is where you could go really wrong. This is where I went wrong. I think I helped put this floor in. I don't think I did it myself. Um, when we cut this, guys, you're now going to have a cut end that's not going to click together with another. So basically, what you're doing here with this length is cutting it in half. And what you do is lift it over like that. And then this part becomes the end for down there. And uh, that's the way to do it. So, so a wee bit of an awkward bit here, guys. Obviously, I've got to cut out this part because, as you can see, there's a gap there. But um, I've also got to get around this pipe. So I've measured it up to about there, and you can see where we're going to drill with the 16 mil bit, wherever it is. Yes, it's 15 mil pipe work. So it'll be the 16 mil bit in there, and that'll create a perfect circle. And what you can do then is you can take out this last little bit with the jigsaw and pop it in the back. And that usually works really well. There you go, guys. Just popped it straight in there, like. So that's nice, that's really tight. And of course, guys, you know, we're going to be putting like a threshold there. And obviously the, the scart board's going to come down and butt against the laminates. We're not going to see that. But that's the sort of most awkward bits done. I think all we've actually got is this other pipe to negotiate. We're getting there. That's a shift in the tank of course now, guys, onto the new part. And obviously we'll get it back over once this is in and out of the way. But fairly straightforward, guys. I'm not going to film it all, but hopefully it'll look good. So hopefully last awkward bit guys, and I've just got to take take out this bit here and cut, and that'll bring that into line there. And we've just got this last bit to go. And we'll laminate, you always hope you're going to make it to the end, you know, but with one full piece, but I'm going to have to do a cut. That's absolutely fine. Right, so guys, we're almost there, so you know, obviously just getting over to this edge. So you can just see how I cut them guys, you know. That means that you get exactly the size, you know, instead of using a measuring tape and maybe you know, a couple of mil out. You can also get right to size. But I was kind of hoping we'd get full boards in there, but we're not going to have to cut them down. But before I just finish off, I want to make absolutely sure all the joints are actually together. Which is very, very important because when I screw this baby down and put um, scarting boards down, it'll be too late to try and do anything. But guys, I think we are looking really good. I think we're looking good. Finger looking good. Right guys, so now we're down at the edge and of course I'm going to need to cut this now. So the simple way to do it, this is what you sort of do throughout a, a lamb job, is turn it around and see when you mark across there, that's going to take off that strip there. We'll spin it back around and it'll flatten down. Yeah, so there we go, we've got the construction manager has arrived. So we're thinking of putting that in there, aren't we? Electric fire, please. I think so, I think we could put an electric fire in there, that'd be really nice actually. <laughs> have to think about it, would oh, Bailey's going mental. But yeah, I mean, that's the floor done, guys. Really nice. What we need to do just to finish off the video is um, insulate across all of these edges, guys. And that will make this room airtight. Hey, Sam, it's what do you think? giant! It feels giant, doesn't it? Even though there's going to be a rug going on over there. But... It'll look good. It'll look good. Right, guys, so Sean's busy on the back wall here. And as you can see, we're just, we're just making good this whole part um, where the fire sign used to go. And obviously, we just need to move it along a little bit and get it back on. But as you can see, we're just going to go with the grey again up on this wall. Yeah, so just quick, guys, this is a, a this particular type of house, what they call cavity wall house. You know, where there's actually a cavity in between the two uh, layers of brickwork. And um, this is kind of what you're left with at the bottom. 
it's just this kind of wood that you can see there. Now we've actually had all this insulated, there's actually foam inside here now, so it's a very well insulated wall. However, the only place we've really got to fix here is down, down on there, which leaves the kind of top exposed a bit. Um, and you know, I want to put the bead back on like we were using, you know? So what I might have to do is countersink and drill some holes here and put in actual concrete fixings to this one's here. Just, just for this wall, just because it's concrete. But I want this to fit right in here. And the trick to this, you guys, is... So let's move that along a little bit. Is if you want to cut it out, you just draw around it with a pencil like that. Take it back out and then obviously jigsaw it. And that'll fit perfectly in place. So there we are guys, you know, just a little check taken out there. So I got a pen in my mouth. See so I can pull it in just to show you. And boom, there you go. How's that? Yeah, so this is what I was talking about earlier, guys. See, like this proper gorilla tape or duct tape, you know. Um, it's to seal up all these edges. Now, the, the walls are foam filled, that's fine. But you still get a draft coming up from underneath the house, you know, through gaps like this. So... What you do is you put on the duct tape and then put your skirt board on after it to hide it all. And it not only sort of hides it, but it actually pushes against it and keeps it in place, you know? So as you can see, guys, with the tape, we're just totally covering up all the holes. Obviously, we'll do the same across the back all the way along as well. To chip out some of this bits here, this is getting tiled anyway, so I'm not fussed about that at the minute. It's more just getting these skirt boards in and on. You'll see I've cut a check out of that one, which means it should slide in there just nicely. And as you can see, once that's on, guys, that's a totally nice and dry corner with hardly any um, air coming through. Yeah, so guys, we're just, just getting this bit all sanded off now. We just there was, a, there was about a ridge that went all the way up just from the old plasterboard. And when we, we papered this, this was 20 years ago we papered this bit. So we're just going over it again, guys, just to make sure it's absolutely right. And of course, what it's going, guys, is that paper there that we've got in the kitchen. And she's back, a little star, aren't you? Look at the size of her now, guys. I've got a lot of sort of older videos of when it, Bailey was a real puppy dog. Okay, a little scruff. What a cracking dog, though, guys, let me tell you. So, guys, it's always a lot easier doing stuff, you know, like uh, countersinking, drilling pilot holes, and then putting the screws in. You know, it's a lot easier, to, especially these fiddly little corner bits. That middle one's got a really good hold, so I think this is going to get a real grab to the wall. Well, we've got the kids coming down for supper, so I better be quick. Here they go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So there we go for now, guys. Hopefully this has been a really simple video, you know, about laminate at flooring. As you can see, Sharon has cracked on and got the grey done. This is all going to be painted dark grey, I think. And then it's going to be tiled right up like that as well. You know, that'll be really, really nice. But it looks you've got the papering done as well. So as you can see, she's done a lovely job, you guys. But obviously, guys, this this dresser kind of unit here, the it's going to actually reach almost the roof. It's a shame because that's you know it's really really nice, but we'll, we'll we'll manage it. And obviously, guys, we've still got this big mirror here to go back up as well. So you can just imagine it, guys. I think we'll be painting this the same colour as that. I think that's going to be the idea. So next time, guys, it's going to be tiling. You know, nice nice wee video about laminate. But we'll do tiling next. And, uh, you know, get this all painted up, guys. It's going to look really good. So all I've really got left to do when it comes to the laminate, guys, is to do the thresholds. And as you can see, you know, you've got the laminate, then you've got this gap, and then onto the wooden floor that we've done. Sharon's got some grey paint to clean up, Luke. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just put another piece of that on, just in that smaller gap there and then maybe two pieces into there. And that will give us a lovely transition from one place to the other. But of course, guys, yeah, I can't really do the skirting boards down here, for example, until we've sort of sorted all this part out as well. So that's probably about as far as we need to go on that for now. But I'm really happy with that laminate floor. I thought it might be a bit too light, but I think now that you see this uh, wallpaper on and the, this uh, grey on the walls, it, you know, it darkens the room down, so this will really lighten it back up again. And again, that wood table, that's beautiful, but it's going to get painted the same as the kitchen. Speaking of the kitchen, guys, this is in working action. Check it out. Look at that macro. You do pretty, do do pretty good macro nail, I've got to tell you. You do. Very nice. You do. It's really nice. So as you can see, that's the kitchen kind of working now. I mean, it's been open every day, but, you know, this is it. 
and of course the colour I was telling you about, see this here? Just for those of you who don't know, you can actually take a little chip, right, not in the front, but take a little chip of the paint off to like a local hardware store and they can actually scan it and get you the same colour. And that's kind of what we want to go through in the dining room. So hopefully guys you'll see it'll really match it up. And the idea with this room guys really is to make a very boring little 3 meter by 3 meter room and it's something really quite nice uh, on a budget guys, you know, that's, that's really what it's all about. Yes, yeah, so listen guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to head off and get some supper now. Of course, loads of videos to come. We've got, uh, you know, our motorbike vlog, our Scottish tours, cars, bikes and boats on this channel. And of course, David and Emily have got their own uh, Barney Family Fun YouTube video, uh, well, YouTube videos, guys, as well as their Instagram and Facebook. So they're cracking on with that too. Oh, yeah, quite happy with that. Quite happy. So listen guys, thank you so much for watching, it's very much appreciated. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see our videos coming up. And um, we we'll just really hope you enjoy what we've got so far. God bless and thank you.